there, Birdman 316 here again. Now I might have showed you a sneak peek, I think I did, of this uh, Promark VR, they say it's a Promark VR70, which we all know is a SEMA X8 series clone. Now this has a hover hold, and it used to have a Wi-Fi camera. And it came with some little goggles and whatnot. You put your phone in to get the effect of, um, I guess, F FPV. Now, we all know that the uh, 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi is uh, <clears throat> garbage. So that that got gone quick. I'm going to sell it for spare parts or whatever. But anyway, you notice I have the props from an actual X8C or X8 series. Now, you notice this right here. Check it real close. I guess I'm not sure of the proper terminology. I guess we'll call them twisty locks. Twisty lock system from the X8. Replace the uh, sleeve with the screw in it and the two front ones here. The screws were stripped. They were barely hanging on. So I figured, well, I have some extra X8 stuff. So, hey, why not convert it over? And, uh, I mean, some neon orange, neon orange stripes on the front. So if I'm coming at myself this way, you can hardly see those green props if you're coming straight towards yourself. But those orange stripes, you can see those. And plus, if you're up, you can see those neon green props, which they do glow in the dark. So the next time you see this bird, I'll be wearing my SJ4000 hat cam. I got rid of that those uh, sunglasses with the camera because. The, the voice, the, 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 what do you call, the audio section was distorted in, um, I didn't like them. They were, they, were, they were good for goofing off in the yard and stuff, but to do serious reviews and serious revisits, not so much. And the battery of this bird, the stock battery was junk. It was no good, so I had the SEMA X8 battery in here. All I gotta do is hook her up and go up for a another break-in flight there's no there's no idle mode on this thing there's no way this set there let the motors idle so i just give them a good drink of graphite powder took her up for a couple flights one of them last night after i swapped those two props around it were backwards and replacing the battery with an x8 battery and it it flew good there's that there's no um like a sema you don't push up on the throttle stick and start the motors you simply calibrate it and you know, bind it, calibrate it, I'll show you all that stuff when I'm out there. And you push a button and the thing takes off. And it hovers probably about three feet or so. Then you uh, proceed to fly around. But being that we're breaking into motors, we are just going to let it kind of pitter and putter around the yard a little bit at the slowest speed it can possibly run, which, you know, there's no idle, so. I just have to feed these motors with graphite powder and hope that it makes it to the brushes and I hope that it uh, lubricates them well. Lubricates them well. I like these. The brushed aluminum look. I wouldn't mind finding some spare. You can get those crummies all day long for the X8, but I, I, I like it. I'm, I'm liking the look of this um, brushed aluminum look. That's, that's pretty cool. Pretty neat, pretty neat. Okay, this is Murderman 316, and the next time you see this, we'll be in the air. Sayonara. Birdman 316 out here again, out in the front yard. Everything's been bounded up. Everything's ready to roll. It's a little breeze out here, so we're gonna be flying this in speed number two, just to make sure we can uh, take care of things and not get blown away. Uh, it's the transmitter right here. You can barely see it. It's, uh, it's a wild looking transmitter. This is your speed control right here. Let me show you. I'm going to reduce speed. Go there. I'm going to increase your speed. Go there. Speed number two. Speed number three. This is a four speed. Wow. We're going to start out at speed number two just to make sure there's a little breeze there. And here's the, uh, this button right here. Does your calibration. And there's no, 
there's no way to see I'm lifting up on the sticks not starting the motors all you gotta do is press this button right here where my thumb is and just take off by itself you'll see here in a minute here we go pretty wild huh start the timer we're going for a little three minute fly again we're just breaking in the motors it's got um green and red on the back let me yaw it around Got white on the front. Yeah, that breeze is really trying to uh, affect this bird here. We're going to keep her a little close. Again, we're just breaking in motors. We're not doing anything crazy or anything nutty. How you doing, man? Yeah, breaking in new motors, man. Yeah! It's just flying backwards in reverse. I'm just kind of breaking in motors here. We got a little little under two minutes to go here. I can get her up here a little bit more. There we go. I'll let her come back. I'll do a little... There we go. There we go. I'm trying to be easy on her because uh, the motors are new. We don't need to be out here hot rodding around and stuff. I know this is a boring flight, but we got to make sure these motors are broke in before we uh, be putting cameras on here and stuff and all that and see where we are in a timer. We got a little, uh, little over a minute. Yeah, the barometer is just a little bit, just a little different because, you know, the wind and everything affects it and all that stuff. But it's hover holding it, hands off. Hands off, I'm just doing a yaw, like that. Burn back over this way. Come back over here. There we go. Hope you can see that. I'm trying to stay where you guys can see it real good. It's got white lights on the front like headlights, so it should be pretty easy to see at night. Because remember, you can't go by those props at night. There goes the timer. Now what we're going to do now is first of all cut the timer off now check this out I'm gonna try to guide her in I'm getting right here where I can land into the wind now watch this one button is landing here we go I'm kind of guiding her down and that's wild she cut off by herself she landed herself, but I kind of guided it in a little bit because the wind's blowing and all that good stuff. Let me cut. Remember, always remember, cut the bird off first, then your radio, and everything should be good. That's a nice, easy flight, wasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> you can't get too crazy with new motors, man. You can't be got here, you know. New motor. Actually, it's a new bird. I got it from my brother. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he um, he was scared of it. He, he was too big for him and everything. Mm -hmm. And I traded some smaller birds for it. And, oh, yeah. Uh, two of the props on the left side were on backwards. And mm -hmm. I kind of dressed her up a little bit. Put mm -hmm. some orange stripes on there. Yeah. Put green on the front and yeah. black in the back yeah, and all look, that. You look good. <laughs> I'm just getting a broke in where I can actually put a camera on there and fly around and get some footage. <laughs> you take it easy, man. That was one of my neighbors right there. A lot of nice people in this neighborhood. 
But anyway, here we go. That is a sneak peek of the Promark VR70. That's a wild name for this thing. Let's just say it's an X8 clone. That's what it is. It's a SEMA X8 clone. Okay. More flights of this baby to come up soon. This is Birdman 316. Signing off.